Hey guys, let's talk about Steam Monsters. So Steam Monsters is a tradable card game based on the Steam blockchain, that's why hence the name, you know, Steam Monsters. What it is, is basically you collect cards, upgrade them, and fight against other players to climb the ranks. Additionally, you can also trade these cards for real money. So let's go and review this. I have some opinions so first and foremost when you uh, code the home page uh, this is gonna sound harsh but I hate the logo I really hate the logo I love what Steam Monsters is doing Steam Monsters is not only just a game it's a community and we'll talk about that later but I really hate the logo you know in today's world and time games want to be flashy games want to be popping they want to hit you hard when you look at them. They want to look attractive. I love what is going on in the background. I love what is going on in the fa uh, foreground. But I really hate the logo. I want it to be more HD or something dynamic uh, that would really, really elevate everything that's going on. Furthermore, there are six splinters, which is nice. I love all these designs. I love what is going on. Now, like I was saying about Steam Monsters as a community, Steam Monsters actually, more than the game, is very involved with the community. They are doing a lot with the community. There are art contests. There is um, lore contests. If you go to the uh, cards, you can basically write a lore for these characters, for these monsters, and potentially get rewarded for them. You can also create art. Uh, you you know, keeping it related to Steam Monsters, and you can get rewarded for it. So like I said, one thing I love about Steam Monsters is that the market is completely in your control. Steam Monsters doesn't really, you know, force you to do much. Um, you can put up a card for 0 0.01 cents or a million dollars and nobody will tell you no. You can do it, you can price them as you like, you can buy them to upgrade, you can buy them to trade. Here is a very cool insider knowledge alpha cards are usually more pricey than beta cards here's the reason why because it takes less cards to level up your alpha cards this is what i do sometimes i buy if i find cheaper alpha cards i buy them level up use them for my own good or else if i don't need to level them up i level them up either ways or buy them and sell them off for a higher price cool right use that trick it's really amazing also there are promo cards um as you can see, there are in the designs of the alpha cards, which means they are from a past promotional, uh, whatever it was. But let's talk about Splinterlands or what was going on with Seed Germinator and Tron. I hated it. Yes, I invested 500 seeds or so. We are, all the investors are going to get something back like promo monsters and um packs but you know to be honest the promo packs i mean the promo cards will not have much value because there is going to be a huge inflation and i'm not sure what's going to happen with the monsters the price might go down either ways i feel like that really backfired the whole sea germinator thing i feel like splinterlands was a huge success for tron you know there was a lot of advertisement done for tron rather than for steam but that's my personal opinion and this is a review so i feel free talking about it Furthermore, let's look at the tournaments. This is one thing I really love. I recently gotten into it. Now, here's one thing I love about the tournaments is that you can run your own tournament. It can be free. It, you can put a certain amount. Like over here, it says one steam to enter. Otherwise, if you play tournaments, there is a high chance if you're a good player, you will come out with a reward. That is, even if it is 0 0.5 steam, you can actually win something from tournaments, which is really nice. Let's go to the gameplay. I feel like it is, it goes without saying, the gameplay could be improved in many ways. I love how it is. I feel like the new website is way more dynamic, way more fun to use, but I feel like the gameplay could use some improvement. I'm not sure what could be improved. Uh, to be honest, it is not a separate game. It is on the internet. You need a browser, and I've noticed this with browser games that it really has some limitations, but I wish it could have been done much better. Steam Monster is not limited to Steam Monsters only. Uh, to trade, you can use other tools like Peak Monsters or the SM Market of BD Community. Like I said, the Steam Monsters is a community. You can also use Steam Monsters to, some, to earn some extra money by using their Discord server. You know, if you post something about Steam Monsters, they will reward you for using, I mean, posting about Steam Monsters. But there is a cooldown 30 hours which I really like because it makes sure you're not spamming too much. That is my quick, very short review of Steam Monsters. I will make sure to make one more longer review of Steam Monsters talking about everything that I want to talk and not being limited by a time limit. Until next time, blend out.